New research shows that the difference in educational attainment between students from higher and lower socioeconomic backgrounds, what's called the achievement gap, has not changed over the past 50 years. The gap between the haves and have-nots has remained constant, even while spending per student has quadrupled. Since the cognitive skills measured by standardized achievement tests are a strong predictor of future income and economic well-being, a persistent achievement gap means it's harder for low-income Americans to get ahead. Social mobility isn't likely to improve. We once thought just providing more money to schools serving disadvantaged students would work to bring their achievement up. But after spending billions of dollars, we haven't seen the gap improve. The United States needs to reconsider its existing policies aimed at shrinking the achievement gap and be open to new directions in national education policy. It should focus on results rather than thinking that more money alone can solve the problem.